Hey guys, it's Darcy Lacovet here with Android Authority. We're here at Showstoppers here at IFA Berlin. I'm just here with Frank Moisio. He's the manager of DLP Pico. Uh, obviously, consumers are really curious to know about mobile projection technologies. Uh, a lot of uh, industry analysts are saying over the next three to five years, it's going to become more mainstream. Uh, obviously, increasing the utility of a device to be able to share media and movies and presentations. And so uh, we're just going to have a good little quick interview get a sense of uh, what we're looking at from DLP Pico. Sure. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're really excited to be here because we've taken our cinema technology, the same technology that's used in the majority of cinemas in the world, DLP technology, and we've reduced that down to, to chips that are this size. And what that really enables is enables us to do mobile phones and all sorts of mobile devices that can get incredibly compelling pictures and experiences for people, whether it's for gaming or whether it's for recreational use or whether it's for enterprise and business. Uh, these are, are just tremendous opportunities uh, to, to leverage the technology into different spaces. We want to share with you a really cool product. This is uh, the Samsung Galaxy B. Yeah. Uh, this phone is an Android-based phone. It was just released recently into the marketplace, um, and it uses our DLP technology. And uh, we're going to power this on. And so, for example, Here's a, a presentation that's on the phone, and if we want to go through a presentation, where we can easily do that. If we want to show uh, show videos, we can easily do that as well. So here's, a, for example, and you can see we're in a pretty decent ambient light scenario right here. Yeah, it's quite bright. And so you can take anything, any app that's on here, whether it's whether it's a Crackle or a Hulu Plus, and you, there's so much available content. Oh yeah. There and you can use it and show things like this. Uh, in addition, you can go in here and play, uh, and play video games as well. And it's a really compelling experience. Let me take you back to a video game. Oh, I like this game. <laughs> yeah. So this is a great game. Yeah. And we won't actually play it for you here. Uh, but it's uh, but we'll show it coming up right here. Now you can take a wireless Bluetooth controller mm -hmm. in conjunction with this phone mm -hmm. and play this uh, this really cool game. And we've got it happening over there. We just got. Um, a con I don't have a Bluetooth controller with me at the moment. Ah, okay. But uh, but you just you, you, I'm playing it on this thing. But playing it with a wireless Bluetooth controller is even that much more compelling. Yeah, indeed. So whatever it is, whether it's gaming, whether it's presentations, whether it's other types of content for consumer applications, CLP uh, Pico enables these kind of products in the marketplace. And it's not just on Android phones, we've also got uh, products that help power products like this uh, new Aptek sleeve. This basically powers the iPhone and it also docks the iPhone so it's a case, mm -hmm. uh, but it also allows you to project images uh, from the iPhone. It's quite bright. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, brand new here at the show, mm -hmm. and so look, here's just a, a video, a streaming video off of this phone. Good frame rate. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever the application may be, enterprise, mm -hmm. consumer, gaming, whatever it is, there's so many different uses here. I found even just using that phone for the last couple of weeks, mm -hmm. I found that. I could actually view email attachments finally without pinching and panning all over the ah, place. I see. Okay. And so I just use it to to easily look at, at emails as well. So in terms of uh, the direction of where we're headed with this technology, uh, are there any uh, plans to collaborate with tablet makers and, and uh, other different form factors, maybe in laptops as well? Sure. We see that as yeah. an ultimate destination of the technology. There's Absolutely. So many there's so many reasons why you want to share information. Precisely. And those devices are inherently a one-to-one -one experience. Yes. And our technology makes them into a, a multi-share, multi-viewer experience. Fascinating. Yeah, so it really absolutely. transforms, we think it transforms mobile devices mm -hmm. from an from a individual use to a shared experience. Yeah. Well, I mean, consumer technology as a whole, 
they are just designed to augment things that already exist. That's why people love Facebook, people love sharing, yeah. people love communicating. Right. Uh, so that just enhances it. But in terms of the, some of the challenges uh, that the technology has before it gains a wide, widespread adoption, what do you think are the, some of the top ones? Well, I think the awareness, awareness? Of, the, of, what, of what this can do. Yeah. I think that's, that's really probably the biggest thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, certainly, uh, we've had to do a lot to go from cinema down to this tiny chip yeah. uh, that operates you know, incredible. On, on a cell phone battery. Yeah. But the uh, but the makers uh, of these products have really done a great job with their technology. Mm -hmm. uh, Samsung allows you to work for, for about three hours, two, okay. three hours. Not bad. This, with this on, on it all yeah. the time. So, uh, so we're going to look for more innovations and more applications. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're in more than 50 products today. 50 products? Uh, yeah. Wow, so, that's fantastic. Uh, so uh, we think it'll continue to go. And so correct? in terms of uh, technological progress, you know, everyone wants faster, better, cheaper. Yeah. You know, uh, we've seen that obviously in the CPU race as things sure. continue to get smaller, yeah. decrease the power envelope. Like how small are the actual projectors themselves going to be able to get? Are there any physical constraints or limitations? And, and also too in terms of the power. Well, I think uh, probably the best illustration is um, it's the first uh, Samsung phone that was released into into the local Korea market a couple of years ago. It was yeah. about five and a half lumens. Okay. It was lower resolution. It was a lot thicker than okay. this phone. So this phone has gotten a lot thinner. It's actually three times the brightness of that first so phone. So it's 15, 15, 15 lumens. Wow, that's, that's yeah. excellent. And the resolution is about um, probably one and a half to two times as okay. That original resolution. Within three years. Yeah, so okay. uh, so we're going to continue to see those trends moving forward. Excellent. Uh, we're seeing a lot of progress happen in terms of solid state illumination, LEDs, lasers. Yes. Uh, in conjunction with our technology, so mm -hmm. uh, we think that you're going to continue to see it get smaller, brighter, okay. and uh, and also get to new price points as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And Second. in terms of uh, from a hardware manufacturer's perspective, is it expensive to license technology or to embed it? I like. Uh, well, companies. Uh, uh, companies procure, we actually manufacture these devices. Okay, so actually manufacture those devices. Yeah. Okay, us. fantastic. Well, really cool. Well, I mean, I think five years from now, it has a lot of potential, but yeah. you know, talk about awareness and sure. Uh, sure. that's great. Well, thank you very much for your Excellent. time, Frank. Sure. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. We we'll be in touch, it. okay? Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks so, so Darcy Lacovea here from Android Authority, number one Android site on the web. Stay in touch with us on Google Plus, on our channel, everything like that. Let us know what you want us to find, and, and we'll, we'll get the goodies, guys. All right, take care.